Good day, everyone, and welcome to episode 39 in the Great Soviet Experiment. We're opening up near the town whose name I can't pronounce. Motodetskno. Uh, apologies to anyone who speaks Russian, but mm -mm, not going well. Uh, and we have actually started a push against the Germans up here. Um, turning out not to be an encirclement, but um, a little push nonetheless, and it seems to be working. So we're going to let that carry on for a moment, because we've committed some troops to that. And we just need to stop and think here for a second, because, as you know, we've got um, some units spread far and wide over our map. In fact, they were going, they started off the war being the uh, the reserves that would rush into the spot where the uh, Germans looked like they were going to make a breakthrough. And in actual fact, there are four of them. Uh, and um, some of them can get up to very large numbers, it seems. Anyway, um, it would not be unreasonable to turn those four into a separate army and have them do let's say, pick a particular area and go nuts to see if we can't get some breakthroughs and make some dangerous things and have the rest of our other two field marshal armies um, hold the line, as it were, while these guys do the assault. Now, this means, of course, that we don't need to put our specialised assault units in the regular army because we can put them in this particular army. Now, isn't that interesting? We might even just get the encirclement in here. Novel, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Don't think we're going to pull it off though. It'd be nice if we did, but I don't think we're going to pull it off. <clears throat> Uh, but we have caused some difficulties for them here. Actually, let's just let's just go with we caused some difficulties and see how many more difficulties we can cause them. Because our job is not to make it easy for them, as you might have already picked up. <clears throat> so that's going ahead. This salient's resilient to us by a long shot. Anyway, so um, what I've determined is that we're going to do some reworking of our units. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to find a new field marshal to put in charge of this particular army. However, I suspect that we are very short of field marshals at the very moment. Uh, oh, no, we have one. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, what are you, cavalry leader? Okay, infantry division defence, reconnaissance, good. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh okay, sure. Oh wow. Attack plus one. Oh. Attack plus one, obviously. You are going to be our new field marshal, my young man. And we are going to add all these guys to you. Where are you? Ah, lovely. Very lovely, in fact. Um, and as well as that, I'm going to add... Uh, oh, no, actually I can't. But what I can do... What I can do... Is start cleaning up my line. And taking the assault troops out of here. And putting them in there.
just a minute. Didn't I just take three out of... Where did I take three out of? Did I not just take three out of there? Perhaps I did not. So we want, we want these to be fairly balanced, actually. same page somewhere. Now you can definitely tell by doing this we are well and truly moving over to the offense. So why is that? Oh, really? Oh, now they're no longer independent. They've come down to 24, have they? Oh, that's bad. Hmm. All right, where are we going to attack? I think we need to attack up here. So I'm going to give you a staging area, which will be here and here. And I'm going to move you all there. And you, who are this guy here, you can stop training for a start. Cancel your orders, and you can move to up here. Actually, you can move to Moscow. And you Royce. are there. Right. Got it. So... Oh no, you can take 72. Okay, they've, re, they've rejigged themselves. Okay. Hmm. Looking pretty exciting. So we'll bring these up to 30. And 30. This is going to be a pretty powerful army. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Okay. So if this is going to be our assault arm, we need nine more of the, no, 24, three more of those. Twelve and twenty-one. I think that's a reasonable outcome. Twelve and twenty-one. And how's red? Get another three there. One, two, three. Nine and twenty-one. Yep. 
Another three here. Oh, actually, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. What we want to do is take them out of here, if they're in here. Which we hope they are not. No. So far, so good. They're not there. We just need to be sure of this. No. 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 Okay, very good. So we need another three here. And another three in here. One, two, three. Okay. And wherever you are, you are now going to go into training mode. And then I'm going to add a major tank element to you. Now, what I do have to work out is which ones are which. So this one, heavy tank, medium tank. Okay, and that's the lightning one. And this one, right, okay. medium tank okay now what we do need to figure out is medium tank 4000 modern tank 2000 okay so what width are you you are a width of 20. Actually, that's a good question. There you go. You've just been beefed up, buddy. Medium tank, 4,000. Modern tank, 2,000. And... And you are going to be assigned to you. This is looking exceptionally interesting. Why? Hang on. Where'd he go? Why are you not being assigned there? Ah, there we go. Much better. Ah. 
Uh, hang on. That's the wrong one. Where was the one I had Uh, hang on. We've lost somebody. What just happened? Okay, I am uncertain as to what happened there. But we're going to do this because we need punch. Yep, cool. Okay, now it's rejigged it again back to 24. I wonder why it does that. Why did you go up to 31? Oh. Do not know what happened there. That that seems like a keyboard issue to me. <clears throat> but I don't know why it's reset to 24. Hopefully it won't stay there. It looks like it's going to. All right, let's move. One, two, three. Everyone is balanced again. Ready? You're ready? No, not quite. Ready? Mm. Yep. No, you have a way to go yet. Okay. When that's ready, we're going to try and take Vilno. 
In the meantime, though, how are we actually doing in terms of... <gasps> look at that. Look at that. And that. Oh, and that's brilliant. I'm liking this a lot. We could do still modify the tanks of foot, couldn't we? Light tanks is... You know what? What if we replace the light tanks with <gasps> modern tanks? So we could do another modern tank, really. So 16. Uh, we'll go 5. And take you down. Okay. That's looking pretty good. All right. In the meantime, though, we need to... Now, who's in the south again? No, you're in the north. Pretty sure you're in the north. Yep, there you are. So in the south is this young fella, my lad, and we need to be upgrading your units. Royce! Ah, General Zakharov. We're very short on tow rocket artillery. You know what? I need one more division in there. Okay. Let's just keep going. We want to try and get these guys up to a level as best we can because this line's got to push into the Germans. Even if we have a special army which is designed for punch. We still need the follow-up to hold the line and deal with the counter-attack, which is precisely what this is supposed to do. But I think I've made some mistakes um, in working out my units and everything as the game has been progressing. Um, but there will be a post-mortem to this because we are going to need a post-mortem to this. Rokosovsky, infantry leader, engineer, urban assault special. All right, how are we doing? Still not ready. Okay. Well, we can be patient. Well, can we? Can we indeed, I hear you say. Now, I'm going to bring General Konstantin Rokosovsky up to support our new army um, down here put you in training as well um, because and uh, in order to do that you're going to need some much better units in there so we're going to upgrade you to the latest in mech division like so and uh, we're pretty well set to go when, when the guys are ready. Actually, you know what? I mean, let's make it all modern gung-ho stuff. Double check where we're at with this. Modern tank. Defense, breakthrough, hardness, soft attack, hard attack, 32. Hard attack, 40. Hmm, okay, well, it's a good mix. 
I'm certainly going to raise the bar when we go to combat. Ah, uh, Grodno. I wonder if we made a strive for Grodno, whether we could do that. Interesting idea. Certainly there are less units down here than there are up in this area. And it would be a good encirclement. Wouldn't it? Um, it would. Oh, it's very tempting, isn't it? In fact, it's so tempting. I think it's something I'd like to do. Ah, yes. Thinking ahead again. Medium tanks. Medium tanks. Oh, we can stop production of medium tanks. Oh, we have stopped production of medium tanks. Where are medium tanks? We've got marines. Where are medium tanks? Oh, medium tanks. How many medium tanks have we got left? 2.9 thousand. You know what I think? I think we remove you. And I think we put you there. And then as time goes on, we'll replace you with the modern tanks. Yep, that's a much better plan. All right, up to three. Because I want to start this assault before we get going. Now, um, the other thing I want to do is I want to give these guys air support. So just, just hold on to your horses for a second. I've lost an airfield. That'll do. That's an airfield. We're going to deploy some planes and we're going to deploy Sturmoviks. Ooh. 10, 20, 30, 40. 10, 20, 30, 40. We've got one, two, three, four, five armies. Uh, five um, Well, we do have five armies within the Field Marshal's Command. One, 10, 20, 30, 40. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Okay. Uh, you are not going to do that, and you are going to fly day and night because you're dedicated and hardworking young men and women uh, of the Sovietsky Union. So. Now this is going to work is that you're going to be assigned to you 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 and you know what you're going to be assigned to you as well uh, because that is exactly what we want to do so that when you attack you get all the air support you ever need um, and it's going to be another long episode ladies and gentlemen because we need to be we need to be in a position to start I want to start our offensive at least and I think I think how I'm going to do this, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. I'm going to cancel all your orders. Really? Not letting me cancel all the orders. Why won't? Oh, because there are no orders. There's only that. Did I not have you on a garrison area? I thought I did actually, but 
Maybe not. Hang on, where's the army gone? Not there. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Four and six. I think that's the front. So I'm going to assign you. Just to there. And then I'm going to give you an offensive line to there. And I'm going to execute the battle plan aggressively. Ooh, what's this? Free civilian fact. Whoa! Hold on to your horses, everybody. We need to catch up with this one real quick. Ah, you know what? We could actually do with some more civilian factories. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two, one, two, three. Okay, and then just a few, actually, do we? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. All right, here we go. One, two, three, two and two, right? Two and two. Two and two. Okay. All right. Now, in order to back you up properly, I'm going to bring. Why aren't these guys on my? Oh yeah, there they are. They're the stars. Okay. I'm going to bring General Meretskov up. Uh, in order to be ready to support, and we'll go down to one and just carry on. How are we doing? How are we doing? Konstantin Rokosovsky. Oh, Panzer expert. Motorized defense mech. Okay, I'm going to go with that one. Because that's a good one. Okay, well as soon as they're in position, we're going to start the attack. But they haven't got into position yet, so where is everybody and why are they up there? How is the plan looking? Divisions are still preparing. Okay. Well, this is going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a big push for us. I'll give you me and that in a minute. Because what I am going to give you is this. Whoa.
So we've got holy dooly. <laughs> oh man. You might as well say 105. Approximately 105 divisions ready to attack here to try and turn this into an encirclement. That's seriously impressive. As in seriously impressive. I don't know what Dark these guys are doing up here. If unit were to continue moving, it would cause the next province to require more supplies than it has capacity for. Yeah. See, this is this is our big problem with the Russians. We can't we've got infrastructure issues. Mind you, we're gonna have infrastructure issues on the front line anyway, because of, you know, the results of combat. Railroads get destroyed, roads get chopped up, um, fuel depots vanish. Uh, ooh. Um, and we are going to need to do more research because we are I don't know what else I can research frankly unless I start down here well I could yeah why not how's the plan looking Divisions are still preparing. Well, there are a few still coming in. Man, they, they've really got our number down in the south. This is a very bold plan, and it's got all the potential of not working at all well. Um, but what have we got there? Uh, we could do with some more f fighters, probably, in that area. But I don't know if we've got any. No, we're, we're fresh out of fighters. Hmm, that would be interesting if we could get some more fighters. Um, maybe we need to look into that. Anyway, I think we should probably give the order to go and see what happens. Hmm, so far, looking so good. Let's take, let's take some of the pressure off, shall we? And put a bit of pressure on over there. So how's that looking? Hmm, it is all happening. Okay, Kurt Student. Okay, what's this? Enemy has air superiority and attacking from multiple directions. Right. Yeah. It's uh, you'd have to say it's looking fairly good at this stage. There's lots of tanks coming in, and that shows promise. Now, what I would like to do is get why have I got two generals in there don't know okay let's stop you for a minute so here's the plan you come up to there follow the line to there and then veer to Grodno and see if we can't get an encirclement going This is exciting. We are causing them some some difficulties. Ah, very nice. Yeah, we need to stop them reinforcing there as well, actually. Can we... Yeah, we can add you into there. Uh, Messerschmitts. Messerschmitts? Oh, fuckers. Hmm. 
I think we're going to we're going to advance. Ah no, he reinforced it. No, oh, we got in. Oh yeah, and the counter attack coming from this direction. Tell you what, how about that? That seems like quite a reasonable approach. supply-wise. Oh, rocket artillery is an issue. Real artillery is not that. Anti-air is now not an issue. Infantry equipment is doing well. Um, we do actually need, actually we need more fighters. But you know what I wouldn't mind doing? Uh, in terms of aeroplane, let's get the jet fighter. Air superiority one. Yes, right. Let's get the jet fighter. And um, we might as well get an extra one of you as well. And we'll put the MIG up there first. Cool. Ah, uh, use, look at that. <laughs> okay. So far, so good over here, though. Hmm, where are you coming from? Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, that's better. Grodno. Grodno is the target. This is exciting stuff. Thirty-six divisions in reserve. I think we've got this. I think we've got this. But it's bloody. I mean, we we'll talk about outnumbering. It's taking the hammer and breaking the chestnut. It's actually, it's not unusual in war to do that. Uh, in World War II, was it Blaney, the Australian general, uh, when they were fighting the Japanese in, in New Guinea, would go against small Japanese units with huge numbers just to prove to the Australians that the Japanese could be beaten 
and that they weren't invincible. It was a great morale boosting uh, exercise and it worked a real treat. So yeah, it's, it's a real thing, a real thing. And it's such a real thing that it looks like we might actually be able to pull this off. Although there's quite a few German divisions up there that are giving us a bit of stick. Uh, no, no, no. I don't like why it does that. Oh yeah, okay, we're going in there, fine. Rodno is the target. And if we can pull this off before they realize what's happening, it'll be brilliant. It is bloodthirsty down here. to come and oh you're out of supply what Just reinforcing it as it's about to break. Okay. Kirill Meretskov, you've got too many units in there. One, two, three. Much better. Oh, come on, take the hex. Dooley, dooley. Yes. Now, taking it is one thing. Holding it is completely another. Okay, hold on, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. We are, we need to stop that attack and redirect our forces to Grodno. Okay, start up again. Oh, the excitement. Oh, the excitement.
No, you're not going over there. You're going that way. Actually, you know what we could do with? We could do with some armoured units. There you go. Just some reinforcements coming through, hopefully in the nick of time. Okay, we need to go up to two. Hmm, we need to pull you off the line. get you into resupply and get you back into the fight as soon as we possibly can. Now, how are our commanders looking? Can anyone get an upgrade? thought you said you could. Ah, oh, you may have liked me. Well, it doesn't matter. He's good. He's good. He's good. Oh. Moskalenko, do you do you pres Oh, you do. Oh, you do. Okay. Uh, and then said Yuninsky, Ivan, and you do too. Man, we're rocking and rolling. Uh, unfortunate, very. Okay, 24. Govorov, Mr. Govorov. Oh, you don't have anything. Okay. What about, no. Nope. Ah, Field Marshal Golikov can. General army size plus two. Oh, 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 hang on. Improvement on... Whoa. Division recovery rate. I oh, like that. And last but not the least, Field Marshal Tukhachevsky, which is all right. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Oh, progress. This, it's all happening here, isn't it? Holy dooly. Let's go in one direction. Just go in one direction. And don't get cut off. That's the second rule. Go in one direction and don't get cut off. Oh. 
All right. My gosh, the entire army is committed. There you go. Oh dear. Well, how about that? I counter, we attacked, they counter attack. We counter attack, they counter attack. Oh my gosh, this, this is riveting. It's so touch and go. Dooley dooley. Now, you don't need to be attacking me. Wow. They are desperately trying to hold on to that. Alright. Um, gosh, we need more stuff to throw at this. Tell you what, we haven't thrown you in. Let's throw you in. There's a good deal of fighting going on down here. Ah, there goes the um, ah the Alpine divisions. They are looking and doing pretty well over there, actually. You know what? Holy dooly. Well, it's bloody, <laughs> but I don't know that we've, we're, we're gonna, ooh, it's bloody. It's seriously bloody. Uh, uh, not 
24? Where was it? Was it 24? Actually, I don't remember. Better not do that if I don't remember what I'm doing. Oh. Oh, everyone's getting wounded here. Tell you what. All we want to do is take Grodno. And that's all we want to do. It's not that hard. And I really don't see why the Germans would have a problem with it. I mean, I really don't see it. I think it's just that they've got a bad attitude. Oh. Hello. Let's not waste army experience when you could be heading for Grodno. Actually, you know what? How about we do this? Just, just to throw people off a little bit. There you go. That'll fix him. Uh, this is looking particularly dodge. Alright, let's select all of you. Pull you out. And then send you right back in again. Ah. Uh, I am kind of keen to get this done. And I would be very keen to get the Germans cut off in this episode if I could. Oh man, everyone's getting wounded. Well, it's very close to being successful. But of course, very close to being successful and successful are very different things. Uh, oh, oh, oh. That's not a good idea, because that's one good way to get ourselves cut off. Well, ladies and gentlemen, oh gosh, it's over an hour. Uh, it's <laughs> the intensity, ah, oh, the intensity.
No, thank you very much for joining me today. I'm sorry the episode has gone so long, but I was desperately trying... Ooh, look at that, we're out of medium tanks. Desperately trying to um, close close that encirclement that we started there. Um, and once again, I think I might have bitten off more than I can chew. But we will find out in the next episode. So thank you very much for joining me today. I do hope you stay well until you return to the Geek Channel. And until then, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.